Lord, I thank you for this day. Pray that you keep Travis and I safe as we work on the house over there. And blessings to everybody. Amen. So if you notice, I've been doing a little kitchen cleanup after breakfast, and <clears throat> excuse me, I'm pretty sick. I got a cold after I had an awful nosebleed on Tuesday night, which um, it's Saturday, but then for some reason it just progressed. But anyways, we had some friends over for supper last night, and they had a little dog they brought in, and their dog liked to scratch at the door. So I'm going to clean up the door with this Norwex cloth. Um, and then I used an, another Norwex rag on my stove and microwave and like the stainless steel and just sprayed a Grove Everything spray on there. Um, so that's kind of what I use, more natural products on that. And then I'll spray for the floor and wipe off, I already wiped off the table. Put my runner back on and call that good for the kitchen. And then the plan for today is to edit some videos and make some cookies for the Super Bowl party tomorrow and oh good <laughs> sorry my husband was talking to me and I had to hear him but anyways um, while I do all this I've been listening to um, an audiobook it's by Francis Chan it's crazy love if you've read this book it has just hit me so hard in realizing um, how crucial our love of Christ is. Not just that we believe in God, but our love of Christ. So it's been really good. Um, I've been listening to that. And as I clean and do some of my other um, Saturday things that I will do, I will probably listen to that or watch some YouTubers. So yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, a pad, that little patio would be nice. Right out of the bathroom, right? <laughs> Put a hot tub right over here. Uh, maybe we should move over here. You want to move over here, sell our house? <laughs> this is pretty little, though. So no, you have your... That one, I would live in this one. Yeah. 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 So that's temporary walls there? Yeah, it's temporary wall. This was all rotted out. See, look. Oh, you got more to take off, too. Ooh. Yeah, so this is the... This isn't even the sill plate, that's just the base plate. So that's all rotted out. There is some termite damage over here, but it's not as bad. So we're going to leave this, and maybe someday in the future we'll have to take it off, but for now it's okay. Looks like a lot of work to me. <laughs> well, it, it won't be too bad now when you start building. Hopefully, right? So I have to share this with you. 
I got this KitchenAid mixer for $30 um, at a garage sale. It was pretty gross and dirty. I just cleaned it up and um, it is missing the front cap, but hey, it works. It came with a bowl, a couple of the, whatever you call them, <laughs> and then has that one in there too. So 30 bucks for a KitchenAid mixer. I couldn't pass that up. However, this is my first time using it in a year, actually over a year. So um, I needed to use it. And I don't store, if you've noticed, like all my countertops are pretty clear. I don't store any appliances on my countertops because we just tuck them away. And I've had friends ask, it's like, how does your kitchen look so open and clean? That's part of it. I don't put anything on my countertops, like my toaster. There's a nice little outlet here, and it's on a pull-out drawer. Then all my other appliances are down here, like my food processor, my blender, and my hand mixer, like on another pull-out drawer. So I don't use them daily. We use our toaster daily, but it has an outlet right in there. So that's kind of how I keep my countertops pretty clear. I just don't store stuff on them other than my sourdough and a picture. So really... That's about it. Oh, and our mail that's back there and my computer and my little snack right there. But I just don't store stuff on it and I am excited to finally use this. I feel so bad that's something I maybe should have gotten rid of, but I'll be using it. I definitely will be using it. So yeah, I'm just gonna make my cookies here and use it and see how it works. I just got back from a walk and it's about what, two, a little after two o'clock, I served the guys lunch who were, or Blaze and his friend, who were helping on the house um, next door. And I'm gonna go get in line at the car wash because it is like 55 degrees out. And when I walked by, there were three or four cars lined up. So I'm hoping there's less. I can kind of see the car wash from my house. But yeah, I might do that. And then I am feeling a little tired. I might take a slight nap. Then I need to work on editing some videos. But it's so hard to be inside when it's so gorgeous out. I was able to talk with a great friend on the phone while I walked and took Maggie. So it's been a really good morning slash part of the afternoon already. But I just need to get some other stuff done as well. But yeah, just drinking my water. I like to drink out of these mason jars and then just have a metal straw. I got the straws from Norwex, but I know you can get them on Amazon too. Just the reusable straws are nice. Anyways, I am gonna go to the car wash. So this is what I've been helping my husband with this afternoon a little bit. I've been putting siding on. First time I've ever done that. He's over there cutting some more. And he sprays the end with primer. What'd you say? I'm talking to the camera. Then we put it up. It won't get all the way done today. This one's more for my vlog. Yeah, I gotcha. And it's a mess out here. Termite damage wood. And it's cooling off. I'm getting a little chilled, even though it's still probably like 45 degrees out. Yep, that's that's what we're doing. See, hi. Oh wait, there you go. That's my shadow. making chislick for supper. First time I've ever done that. We got it some lamb from... I can't talk. We got some lamb from um, some church members who had given it to us. So I never made it. We'll see how it works. Oh, it's really dark. So got a little bit there. I have some sweet potato fries in the oven. And we're just gonna have salad. And then I have some apple cider on the stove because I got a little cold after um, helping Blaze with the uh, siding. So, and after this, it'll be shower time and just relaxing time. 
Um, Blaze is watching a show right now while we're getting ready for supper. Actually, we both are, so. Anyways, yeah, I will maybe hop on again after supper. We'll see to continue the vlog or the day in the life, but I'm not sure yet. Hey everyone, I did not really finish my vlog slash day in the life yesterday. It is the next day, but um, I wanted to just remind you to thumb this video up if you enjoyed it and um, to subscribe if you're new. I do videos on simple and thrifted living, DIYs, and homemaking, and I would appreciate your subscription. Anyways, <clears throat> the day was so full yesterday. Beautiful, gorgeous day. Today, the weather's already dropping, so that's how life goes. We're not in control of the weather anyways, so I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk with you in my next video this week. All right, bye.